quick. <laughs> All right, we are here the day after the World Series for the Scoreboard Monthly cover shoot with CJ Wilson. Congratulations on everything. I mean, I know uh, obviously the, the series ended last night, but everyone is so so proud of you guys in this town. That's got to be a great feeling. Yeah, for the for the first time in my career, I really felt like the whole city of Dallas and you know even in Fort Worth, obviously the whole area really has been behind the Rangers, and it's it's something that it's it's like a really big sense of pride when you when you go to a restaurant or something like that and you see somebody wearing like a little Ranger shirt or hat or something like that, it's great. We had, to, uh, we had to win a lot of games to get to this point, you know, it was like the, obviously, winning that first game in Tampa in the uh, division series, I think was like a, it was obviously a, a watermark for our, for our franchise and for our team, and then once once I went out there and pitched in the second game and we won that game too, it was like, whoa, man, we're like, we're making strides, you know, we got two wins and once we got one more win and then we're going to the championship series. And if we win that, then we're in the World Series, you know, and it was like this very just positive vibe the whole time. And I think the fact that we're a team of, you know, like fun personalities in a lot of ways helps that, helps everybody kind of latch on and, and, and focus on the positive as opposed to saying, you know, like, oh, you should have done this or that. Because I don't think anybody, any of the fans really realized that we, this is the kind of team we had. But we, as players, we felt like we could do this in a way. And this is something that you know, don't get asked someone every day, but what is it like to pitch in the World Series? Um... You know, it's it's funny because I guess like the the playoffs are different than the post than the regular season, you know. But you know, I had all my starts on the road except for one. So for me, um, it was it was pretty cool to have um, uh, like the experience of doing it. But it didn't really feel that different from pitching in front of a sold out crowd anywhere else, other than the fact that there's just media everywhere, you know, and the pressure, and obviously like all your family and friends are like, ah, you gotta win, you know, like, duh, you know, and, uh, but the, the disappointment of losing uh, was a lot higher than losing a normal game, you know what I mean, but, um, you know, the pride of getting there obviously was also a lot better. So, you know, I, th I think it's gonna take me a little bit of time to process, but for sure a, uh, for sure a process that, like, was rich and you know like everything was like well it's loud it's you know it's cold the ball has gold writing on it you know like when we get to bat I mean everything was just amplified and that's really the way it felt everything was just like turned up to 11 or 12 you know, on the dial so it was pretty cool. Was it any worse uh, for you during the actual series like what was going through your mind when you're actually pitching or do you, yeah. do you have a way to make your mind go blank? No I mean you focus on the task at hand and it's really like your focus becomes I, when you're when you're playing well and when you're at this level, I think your focus becomes so sharp that like you really can't see anything else. You know, when I'd, I'd be out there pitching, and when I was feeling good, I'd be, I mean, I'd be like looking into the mitt, like, and I felt like I was like this, and I'd be like, okay, fastball, and I'd like put it right there. You know, it, it didn't feel like, um, I didn't feel intimidated by the scene at all. It was more just the, the in-between games where I'd be watching, I'd be nervous, and be like, oh, come on, Colby, come on, you know, like, come on, I almost get a hit, you know, like, you know, and we get a hit, and we like, yeah. You know, I mean, I would rage in between games, like in the dugout. But when I was pitching, it just felt kind of like a normal game, it, like a five or ten percent more, you know, amped up version of a normal game. We got a really good ownership group in place now, and I think the the, the last one we had wasn't as committed to providing first and expecting the fans to to support it afterwards. You know, but this one now is they they want to provide something for the fans right out of the gate, and so I think that type of culture is going to be good. And I think having that availability is going to create the revenue stream to sign guys like Cliff. You know, we got a big cable deal before the, before the season ended, and I think that'll be a factor as well. So, um, I mean, it's going to take a lot of money, obviously, because Cliff is entitled to that. He's earned it. So, um, but, you know, we have him, we have Vladdy, you know, and I'd love to see Vladdy back as well. You know, and Benji Molina back. I think he's a really good influence on all the pitchers and stuff. And so, you know, but the, the, I guess the core of the team, you know, the, the guys that we started the season with, other than Vlad, is it was, it was kind of the same we did with last year. And so those guys are getting better. And, um, you know, those guys are just going to continue to get better. So it, I'm really optimistic. I think there's no reason why we shouldn't do the same thing next year. And, uh, and just kind of in, in 
closing with your final thoughts on the season? Is there anything else that you've been thinking about that you wanted to share? You know, it, you know we, 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 we've been chasing these, these dreams since we were little kids, you know, since we were eight years old. Um, and when we make it about that, when we make it about the pursuit of excellence, the pursuit of perfection, really, in our own craft, in our own technique, then that's the that's what comes with good results. You know, you have if you if you're playing for money, you're playing for selfish things, and those teams never end up winning. You know, and I think the uh, the main thing for us was we took we took a, a really random group of guys. You know, and I think it's like a very cinematic thing. I mean, imagine we had Clint Eastwood as like playing Nolan Ryan, you know, like in like a movie, you know, um, but it's just, it's just something that like everybody's going to go this offseason and really just try to get that, that 1% yeah. that would maybe would be left on the table this year with maybe making mistakes or something. And, and if we can, if we can do that, then, then we're, we're, we're going to have something special here for years to come. Absolutely. Well, hey, congratulations again. Yes, appreciate it. And uh, everyone here is very proud of our Texas Rangers. So day after the World Series and we're here. Everybody.